so I got to playing that with just a plain guitar and the chord, and Larry and me worked together for for a while there, and uh, he said, I know we're going to get us a better job than this. So it was in the summer times in my sophomore year. I'd, uh, no, I'd finished. I'd finished my sophomore year high school. And uh, we went to Wells, West Virginia. We got over to an old station for WBRW. We stayed there a little while and made about 10 or $15 a week or something like that, you know. And uh, there was a man, a man came through there one night. We was playing, he and I played, a, they paid us $10 a piece to play on top of the parking building in Welch. And uh, there's a guy come through there and he said, I know some people up in Bluefield, which is about 35 miles away. He said, they, they give you guys a job if you go up there. So we never had no car, no nothing. So we, we got in his car and went home with him that night. And he took us to Bluefield and we t he took us to see, that was, the next day was Sunday, he took us to see Rex and Eleanor Parker. And they gave us a job. We worked with them two weeks and then went with uh, the Lonesome Pine Fiddlers. And that's where I stayed for about three years, you know. And, uh, so that was the start of it all. That was the start. That was the start of it right there. Once in a life you meet someone who gives to you. The reason for that life and what some love can do. Bluefield, working with the Lonesome Pine Fiddlers, and I was playing the guitar. But Larry told me, he said, I know where there's a mandolin over in North Carolina for $15. It's a, he said, it's a Gibson. And he said, the guy take 15 bucks for it. I said, let's go get it. We went over there, and at that time, I got to fooling with the mandolin a little bit. Just, just, but see, I was playing with a thumb pick and a finger pick, and I had to take that off and get back, and I'd about lost all contact with that straight pick, which is sad. <laughs> so, I would fool with the man a little bit. I learned some chords on it and this and that, but uh, I never really got into playing the man until Larry had left the group, and, uh, and that became my chief instrument. That that time when uh, Jimmy Martin and me got together. <laughs> Up 
rocky top there live the breeding brothers. Alpha group was best to spread a little will. Eagerly that bluegrass down, slicker than a blue tea cow. Smoother than the moonshine from their still. Most wanted fastest grass of life. Living somewhere on that mountainside. Finger picking good kid in Tucky Fried Pony. The fastest grass of County seat. Sure, if he told his men, said I want that bunch of boys brought in, signed up to my recording company. The most wanted, fastest grass of mine, living somewhere on that mountainside. Finger picking good kid, tucky fried wanted, the fastest grass of mine. Sheriff sent a posse up that mountain Said place that bunch of boys under arrest Posse went still flying over a music of moonshine Got drunk, ain't come down yet The most wanted fastest grass of life Living somewhere on that mountainside Finger picking good kid Tucky fried boy The fastest grass of life See, I got into it before Sonny did. I, I really got into uh, by 1948, I, I got into it as professionally in 1948. I probably wasn't ready for it, but uh, nevertheless, that's the way it worked out. And uh, 49, I worked 49 and 50, and 51, Sonny got started playing somewhere around 50, 51 in there, you know, through, uh, through me being into it, I suppose, you know. And, uh, then I went, you know, I went into the military in uh, November of 51, and the Marine Corps, by the way. <laughs> uh, and uh, by the time that I had uh, gotten out of the Marine Corps, which is two years later, Sonny had, he had done a stint with Monroe, and uh, uh, he was pretty well familiar with what, what was going on in the world as far as uh, career, or well, I don't think he thought about a career, but as far as something he liked to do is play the banjo and, you know and uh, when I got back out of the out of the Marine Corps why uh, it's another thing I guess I should tell you all about is before I went into the Marine Corps I, I, I did about a two or three months stint with Standard Brothers and might be of some significance here uh, I worked with Carter and Ralph and I enjoyed I enjoyed that you know I took Pee Wee Lambert's place when Ralph had the the car wreck and they left WCYB in Bristol and Carter worked with Bill Monroe through that period of time there, you know, and uh, when they came back, Pee Wee didn't come back with them. He had done moved on. And uh, I come back and took uh, Pee Wee Lambert's place for uh, just a little while uh, before I went into the Marine Corps. Then when I went to the Marine Corps and, and come back, Sonny and me got together. I think it was like 53. <laughs> Way back in the hills of East Kentucky As a boy I did play In what seemed endless day And there I found love With a sweet 
sweet mountain woman One look at her smile And I felt like a child A child again Born of love A new flower bloom Where the old flower was Where the old flower was 